Uh, not exactly a seamless segue, but I did see this from Russell Votes yesterday, and then Fightful followed up on it and said not so fast. We got to start with this. Brock Lesnar in talks to return to WWE. And I say return, what I really mean is return to WWE TV. Because he has not been removed. And I see these tweets every once in a while. Oh, Brock Lesnar back on the active roster. He was never removed. Um, Internally, he's probably off, I would imagine. But on the website, he's still on WWE.com. I don't know if he's technically under contract to them. It might just be a case of like, when we want to use him again, we'll bring him back. Triple H kind of made it sound that way at a press conference. I think at the Rumble earlier this year or at SummerSlam. I forgot when it was addressed. Um, but he is still under contract to the company, technically, and he just has not been seen since SummerSlam last year before the Vince lawsuit came out in January. The WrestleVotes had said they were apparently in talks, they were going back and forth about Brock being brought back and whatever. Fightful Fightful Select said, not so fast. Brock is not being brought back at this time. They need the, you know, green light from WWE Legal, which they currently do not have. Uh, So what's your take on this Brock Lesnar situation? Do you think we would see him anytime soon? And the whole reason why this was brought up, by the way, was because he was subtly referenced on Raw, not once, but twice on Monday night on a tape show when they said something about the Beast. I think Rollins made a mention, and someone else made a mention during a promo on Raw as well in the ring. I forgot who it was, but Rollins was one of them, and someone else did too. And um, Cody? Might have been Cody. I think it was Cody. Because he faced, uh, obviously, Brock and beat him. He actually beat Brock in his last televised match about a year ago. And we haven't seen Brock on the show since. So, do you think that's a sign that we could see be Brock? We could see Brock brought back soon to WWE TV? Or is this just a whole bunch of nothing? Um, I mean, I think that, like you said, I've heard, I feel like even on SmackDown, I feel like, like I said, even, it, was, it was Cody definitely mentioned it because I feel like I can see his face saying it. Yeah. I beat a beast. Um, yeah. He's, I feel like he says beast so, like, beast. Like, he just says it like, <laughs> just like the Cody way. So yeah, like, he's got the, like, the lisp or whatever, yeah. Saying it, so he definitely did say it. I mean, yeah, you're right. I, I'm not against it. I mean, I guess, I mean, I know he was involved in the whole Janelle Grant stuff, but, like, I don't know if they they deem it's fine for him to come back. I, I'd be fine with it. I mean, not like I'm, like, clamoring for Brock to come back, but, I mean, I wouldn't hate it either. I mean, I was convinced after that whole thing broke earlier this year, I mean, we had talked back in January, I was pretty convinced that we would never see Brock again in WWE, considering the nature of how bad the lawsuit is. It, it, <clears throat> excuse me, and it is still pretty bad. The lawsuit is definitely bad. Uh, but Brock's involvement in it is bad, but it seems like over time, maybe I've just not softened my stance, but I've just, not even, I, I, I can't even really word it as come around to the idea of Brock coming back. I am just more convinced now, based on how WWE has addressed the situation, or not addressed the situation, and how Triple H has talked about it, in the few instances where he has talked about it, that Brock will be back at some point soon. I just, not not even soon, but he will be back at some point. Fightful had made it sound like, in their report, that Brock would be brought back when legal gives him the green light, like I said a moment ago. And that likely would not be until the lawsuit stuff is settled. And it's not even like Brock, I don't think he's even being like, he's not being sued. It's obviously WWE and Vince and whatever else is going on there. Brock was merely mentioned, he was referenced, but it was confirmed that it was him obviously referenced in the lawsuit. It's pretty obvious if you read between the lines there. Um, I guess they would need to wait for that thing to blow over, and it doesn't look like it's going to blow over anytime soon. I think the... Janelle Grant stuff was put on pause while Vince was put under federal investigation. So we don't know how long that's going to take. It might be a while before we see Brock again. I mean, it could be another year or two before we see Brock back in WWE TV. I'll rephrase the question to you too. Not only do you think you'll be back or would you like to see him back, but do you think WWE maybe not necessarily needs Brock Lesnar, but could you see a scenario where come WrestleMania... They're calling upon Brock to come back, and they feel like, oh, it's been long enough. Maybe the lawsuit's not over yet. I don't imagine it will be by next spring. But maybe they're thinking, it's been long enough. It's been over a year. We're going to bring Brock back so he can face Gunther at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. Because as we sit here right now and and think about possibilities for Mania for that title involving Gunther, not a whole lot of names come to mind. And the names that do come to mind probably are busy doing other stuff. So could you see a scenario where Brock could be back by Mania to face Gunther? Yeah, I mean, I think it's possible. Uh, I mean, if not, maybe that's when they dust off Goldberg. I don't know, but... Uh... Oh, God, no. no. That would be the only thing worse than Brock. I mean, I don't know what would be worse, but... Um, I think I think Goldberg, they would do another time, I would think. Okay, yeah. Not I mean, I don't hate yeah. the idea. Like I said, I feel like that was what we are supposedly going to get this year, so a year later, and... I mean, I'm not against it. 
Yeah, I mean, again, yeah, like you just said, they were originally intending to do the match at Mania last year. It fell through. They had him face Sammy instead. I don't know if that match would have been for the championship or if Gunther would have lost the belt ahead of time. We'll never know, I don't think. But, you know, they did the match, and uh, Sammy Zayn won. And it, obviously, Gunther's fine because he ended up winning the World Heavyweight Championship. I, I would be afraid if they did Gunther and Brock that Gunther might lose, which would be terrible. I would be afraid in any situation, and Brock we do not need as World Heavyweight Champion. That would be even worse. 